I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. I gave my craft room an extreme makeover, so I'm gonna show you what it looked like in the beginning and what it looks like now. Here we go. So here is my craft room currently. It's a hot mess. It's super cluttered. I've got just all of my supplies jammed in there. It needs a lot of TLC. Definitely a paint job and some plastering, so let's fix her up. Okay, so it's all white now. Definitely cleaner, already looking so much better. All the holes are filled. My friend who painted it said that if he ever needed someone to professionally put holes in the wall that he would call me because there were so many. Anyway, here is my mood board that I created. I'm going for a yellow, pink, and white vibe. Those are some of the products that I want to buy, so I am going to go and actually order a bunch of stuff right now, but I'm most excited for the dream box. If you haven't heard of the dream box, you should definitely check out the Create Room website. That is the dream box right there. It opens up into this beautiful, like craft heaven you can customize it you can pick whichever color you want you can add lighting you can add extra shelves totes you can even get it pre-built if you wish i'm going to order this right now i cannot wait so the dream box takes four to six weeks to ship so i decided to use my cricut and make a template of the entire thing to try and decide beforehand where i want to put which supplies so that's going to keep me busy and i also went ahead and made some labels for my small totes okay today's the big day the dream box and the dream cart arrive i am so freaking excited it's apparently 700 pounds i got the diy version which means that you do it yourself you could have also gotten the pre-built version which means that it comes with a lot of the work done for you but i figured i have some helpers here with me so we're all gonna build this together and i'm so excited milana are you excited baby i don't think she um i don't think she really understands or cares but here we go <laughs> And then the dream box. Um, this comes with a table that folds down, but because my room is so small, I decided not to install that table and instead just keep my dream cart out. But if you do get one, know that it comes with a table. And also you see these doors, they totally fold in and out and I could fold the whole thing in if I wanted to, but I plan on keeping it open all the time like a gigantic closet. So you would never know, but behind this door, I keep one of my Lexington Rolly carts, uh, just like this. And that's where I keep all of my ugly kind of craft junk. Uh, but it's perfect because I still can store things back there and you would never know because it's behind this great door. And then over here, I keep my Cricut mats on a hook. Uh, you know, there's ample storage space if you get creative with it. Okay, now I want to show you something cool. So I normally keep this wide open, but if for some reason I felt like being in a very small space, which is something that I like to do. I'm one of those girls who likes the bottom bunk. I like to sleep in a tent. I like being in small, <laughs> confined areas. So if I wanted my craft room to be like that, all I had to do is... So now I am all closed in on both sides. You can't even walk out of the door if you wanted to. And it's a little bit more private and everything's a bit closer to me. So if you wanted that, you could do that easily too. And right behind my desk, I have this closet, which is filled with more <laughs> supplies, but it doesn't look too pretty open. So I got this curtain to cover it all up. 
Okay, time for a dream box tour. I'm going to start up here. I have my jars of wood beads, blue beads, pink beads, and colorful beads. Down here I've got my sprinkles, hearts, Easter, multicolor, and white. Then I keep my paper towel roll right here on the rod. Moving down to markers, I've got my Sharpies, colored pencils, Crayola, all that good stuff. Then we've got hooks over here for scissors and hole punchers. Down here, I keep my glue, wood glue, tacky glue, all that fun stuff. Then we've got more jars, glitter, confetti, rubber bands, balloons. And here at the bottom, I've got more beads, buttons, and then some studs. Then up here, I've got seashells and my keep it clean bin, which has garbage bags and lint rollers. Moving down to stamps and ink and labels. Then I've got ribbon and embellishments. Those are kind of fun to look at. Then down here, I just have some yarn. I keep my sugar and lily yarn over here. And then I've got granny squares and more yarn under there. Now moving on to the large totes in here, I keep my plastic bags. Next, I have all of my resin molds and spatulas and silicone things. In here, I keep all of my stamps. Then we have the watercolor section, my brushes. Down here, I keep all of my stencils and stencil paper. In this one, I have a lot of my airbrush supplies. I'm a face and body painter, so I have got a lot of that stuff. More glitter and face painting products in this one. The rest is all face paint. <laughs> this is more face paint and makeup palettes and hair dyes and stuff. What do you know? More face paint. And then in the bottom, there is more face paint. Oh, go on, girl. I've got a situation. Now up here are the cubbies. I love these little guys. I keep more beads. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, fabric markers. I've got my mini punches in this one. My big mama punches in this one. Mini pom-pom makers in here. This is my heat gun. In here are embossing powders and special markers. In here we've got rulers and markers that I use all the time. I can just go easily grab them from there. Hair is like I feel like everywhere needs a junk drawer, <laughs> just like a normal kitchen. This is my mini junk drawer. I just keep random stuff in here that like I don't really know where else to put. Glue sticks go in this one. Here are uh, some face painting brushes and eyeliners and stuff. Down here I keep my sandpaper. And finally at the bottom, I keep all the plastic kind of knobs and things that you use for this whole dream box. And now my favorite section, which is the middle. Gonna start up here. Clothes pins and then patches and pins. I collect patches and pins, let me show you them. I love patches, I love pins. Yep, this is a favorite box of mine, so I keep it up here. I made a little slot for my folders with important information. In this one, I have, you know, some packaged items that are not yet opened, like markers and feathers. In here, this is my, you ever have a, 
like things to put paint or glue in or like resin. I got these like mini cups, boxes, plates. I like to use plates. Right here we've got our glitter. And sequins, brads, and confetti. This is another fun drawer. Shiny stuff. And in this pink one here, I keep a bunch of stickers because I love stickers. Moving on up, I've got two decorative boxes also filled with big stickers. And then my giant mason jar filled with pom-poms. Pom-poms are, I love pom-poms. I love them a lot. Uh, so I keep them in here and display. Then moving on down, this is my crochet box. I got this box at Home Goods. I'm in love with it. I keep all of my hooks and things in there. Then over here, we've got more stickers. You know, the tape and the glue guns, which you need. And there I've got some random stuff. Then in this one, I keep some decorations that I make for our front window. In this mini slot is my special planner. I'll show it to you. I mentioned I loved stickers, so I decorate everything with giant stickers. I keep all my ideas in this one. And then at the top, I've got paint and crayons. Okay, now for the middle section. I know a lot of people like to keep their Cricut here, but I actually keep my Cricut in my bedroom near my computer. So in here, instead I have my sewing machine and then possibly my favorite section, the whimsical color section. I have ribbons, pipe cleaners, straws, fun pencils, a little thing of sprinkles because I love sprinkles. And then of course I've got my candy jar because I always need my candy fix when I'm crafting. I need to refill this, but I like to keep it right there. Then on the bottom, we have these mini drawers that I got at the container store. Um, in here, I keep my crochet decals that are not yet earrings. And in this one are ones that I have already made into earrings because I love fun floral earrings. I give them as gifts or I sell them. Uh, in here, I've got bracelets and coasters that I have already made. And another fun drawer, the embroidery drawer. Oh yeah, look at those colors. I love embroidery thread. And then over here, I just have a decorative box from Michaels that I keep my pliers in. Moving on down, I've got my Scotch laminator. I have another decorative box from Michaels that I keep paper scraps in. At the bottom, yet again, another decorative box from Michaels that I keep things in. I keep all of my sewing supplies right here. I've got my paper slicer and then fabric on the bottom over there. On the other side, we have my big bottles of acrylic paint. Then I've got my washi tape on these two rods. Underneath, I have my dowels, popsicle sticks, foam brushes, and paint brushes. Down, I've got more small paints. Then I've got the Mod Podge section. Then some more spray paint and stiff and stuff. And then at the bottom, we just have some other random paint and spray paint that I couldn't fit anywhere else. Go back up to the top. Up here, I've got shiny things and wood stuff. Basically exactly what you think, I'll show you. Things. Wood stuff. Then I have spray stuff and tie dye. The spray stuff is just some tulip fabric shot, and the tie dye uh, I have leftover tulip tie dye and soda ash and rubber bands. Then down here, I've got four boxes of random stuff. My favorite one, though, is this one. I've got all like flowers and little dinosaur toys and things that I can make into keychains. Just kind of fun toys and doodads. Then on my first drawer over here, I have frames that have been made and decorated and blank ones. Then I've got my embroidery hoops and wreath forms, followed by 
some felt. Then we got my pads. I like watercolor paper pads, any kind of notebook, scrapbook pads. Oh, this one's my favorite. Uh, it says Princess Madison's things to do. How obnoxious. Um, with, I do it for my dog. That is true. In here I have postcards. I collect postcards. This one is from Italy. I got this last summer. I love postcards. I use them for so many crafts and I always throw them in gifts. Down here, oh, this is like the fun drawer where I just have stuff that I cannot bear to give away or throw out. Like this Fab Five Spice Girls magazine from the 90s and then this giant donut decal. And then I also have a small obsession with Alice in Wonderland. This was a notebook cover from like 10 years ago that I cannot bear to throw away. I will find something to craft to incorporate this. So that's the fun drawer. In this drawer, I have like small pieces of paper, cool little tags. This one says, you are, you are forever awesome. Okay, that's cool, thank you. Uh, and then just like scraps from my Cricut and things that I can incorporate in other projects. This is a boring drawer. I have my printable vinyl and lamination sheets and computer paper in here. Oh, then another fun drawer of things that I cannot give away. I love Harry Potter. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so I've got a lot of stuff that's Harry Potter themed in there. Um, that's a decal of my dog. Uh, yeah, and just like really cool things. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This is a map from Disney World. I mean, who wouldn't want to keep that? That is so cool. Okay. And then at the bottom, I keep my headshots and resumes. And that's it for that side. Now, if we move over a little bit, in the cubbies over here, I have my magnets. This one, I've got staplers. In here, I have used inked cartridges from computer printers. Then I've got all my alcohol ink in here. These are all my skewers. I use them mostly when I make photo booth props. In here, I've got, ooh, all shiny gems and craft wire. This one, I keep my kind of clay earring doodads. Over here are long brushes and a sharpener. This is another favorite one. I like to make bookmarks, so it kind of fits perfectly in here. Whenever I find those cool pages that I mentioned at the bottom, I make bookmarks out of them and I like to give them as gifts. So this section stores all of those. And then another fun one, I have my fake floral roses and feathers and googly eyes. Up here, I keep my wooden doll heads. Up here, I don't know what's in here. Oh, just some like random wood stuff and felt pads. And then at the very top, I don't know what's in there, but let's find out. Oh, tons of rubber bands, because you never have enough, right? <laughs> okay, I think that is it. Now let's move on to the dream cart. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my dream cart. This is it, I got the two leaf version, which means there are two tables on the sides. You can also get just one table, but I like having options, so I got two. So this is what it looks like when it's down. I'll show you the other side. Uh, there's storage on the bottoms of both sides. Um, and this is really cool. So here's what it looks like when it's down. So if I needed space on the floor to do, I don't know, something, I could just keep it like that, or I can actually keep moving it around. So here's option one. And here is how I normally keep it with one side up, which is really awesome. My chair fits perfectly under there. If I needed a lot of space, I could open up both sides and stick my chair under there. And I just kind of flip the whole thing around to make it a completely different layout in the room, which is another reason that I love it. And then finally, if I just wanted to keep one side up in the middle of the room, I could do that too. God, this thing's just really great. 
Next, let's talk TV placement. I don't know about you, but when I craft, I have to have the TV on at all times to entertain me. So I put my TV on a swivel, which is perfect because let's say my dream cart was over here. I could just look up that way. But if it was sitting right here and maybe I was watching a really intense movie or a really good Netflix show, all I have to do is move the TV and now it is up close and personal very up close uh, you can see here that you can kind of move it however you wanted which i really love perfect if you're going to be moving something around a lot you don't want to hurt your neck you know okay <laughs> then right under my tv is my diy book stand all i did was paint a wooden crate and a wooden stool the same color pink put them on top of each other and it makes a perfect bookshelf and cable box table thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video i would love if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to see more crafts if you want a dream box of your own here is my code i'll attach a link in the description box below if you want to have a craft haven like me you could find me on instagram at mattcrafty and i'll see you next time bye